everybody. Happy Monday. Um, we're going to get started in a moment. We're going to come to any comfortable seated pose. And today we're just going to go over some yoga mudras um, before we get started on our meditation. So if you're having trouble hearing me, um, if you could just comment, I can make those adjustments. I'm trying to remember to do that so people aren't just hanging out with issues. So I'm Jessie, welcome. Welcome to Monday Meditation. Um, and as I said, we're going to talk about yoga mudras today before we get started on our relaxation meditation portion of um, tonight's class. So yoga mudras are essentially gestures um, that control or lock the flow of energy in yoga. So they, they're said to um, affect our prana, our life energy. Um, and there's lots of different ones. You use lots of them without even realizing it. So I'm just going to go over a few. Um, and you'll have to, I'm part of my Sanskrit. It's been a long time since I've um, been in the class where somebody could correct my pronunciation. So um, huh, we'll just see what we got, what we, uh, what we get here with this. So um, hands together in prayer position at heart center. This is a yoga mudra. Um, it's a Nala Mudra, and the benefits are it's an expression of love or gratitude, Namaste. Um, and oh, before we get started on the rest of these Yoga Mudras that we're going to talk about today, there's tons and tons of them. And even if one is for something like love, there might be another 15 that are for love um, that are just a little bit different. And these don't just have to be used in meditation. Um, you could be in warrior pose with some of these Yoga Mudras. Um, lunge poses, you can use them all throughout your yoga practice. So you can use them with asanas as well as our meditation portion or pranayama, our breathing portions of class. <clears throat> I have a little cold, sorry about that. Um, so what most people recognize as a yoga mudra is our thumb and first finger touching and our other three fingers extended. Um, gyan yoga mudra. Um, this is great for meditation. It helps the mind to kind of turn itself inward and it's supposed to bring wisdom and insight. So a lot of times the typical yogi is sitting in full lotus position, thumb and index fingers or pointer fingers touching, you know, maybe chanting Om. So that's what that one is. And then if you touch your thumb and your next finger, which would be your middle finger, it's Shuni Mudra. Um, and this one is for discipline and stability. So if you're feeling like you need some grounding discipline, um, some stability in your life, everything is just kind of crazy as they are <laughs> for this past couple months, um, it's the thumb and middle finger is the yoga mudra we use for that. Uh, the next one is thumb and um, ring finger. And it's the Sura Ravi mudra. And this is for energy, health, balance. Um, the next one is the thumb and little fingers together. And you see a lot of this in religious art, um, not just in like Buddhism or Hinduism, um, Christianity. You see a lot of this thumb and pinky finger touching and the three fingers up. Um, so that's the Bodhi Mudra. And it's to, it improves communication. Um, it brings you um, more in contact with your intuition or like dreams, your subconscious, um, trying to find meaning in those things. Um, let's see, I wanna make sure I'm doing these, I'm not losing any of these. Um, so we're gonna do the Danya Mudra, which is the left palm um, under the right with our palms facing up and the tips of our thumbs just touching. I use this one a lot in my own meditation. It's just comfortable. Um, my arms don't get tired. Um, you can just rest them down. <clears throat> this one's for reflection, um, deep contemplation, calming energy. So part of this is um, you want your thumbs touching because that's kind of the seal, like having something touch. So when we just have our hands open, which a lot of us do in Savasana, um, even though it's a gesture that's open and receptive, the energy isn't circulating back through us is kind of the thinking with these. Um, this one's kind of a fun one. It's the um, middle and ring finger and thumb, kind of rock fingers, devil fingers, 
um, Apana, and that is for, oh, sorry, mental or physical digestion. Um, some people associate that with like um, needing to expel something, the devil, or negative thoughts or those kind of things from your body. So it could be on your knees, it could be up. You could be in um, a warrior pose with your arms or with your hands in this yoga mudra. And the last one we're going to talk about is a happiness yoga mudra. And there's lots of different ones for this. So if you've taken some of my uh, meditation workshops, you might have seen other versions of this. But when I was putting this list together today, this one's nice and easy because a lot of us are familiar with it. Um, you interlace your fingers with your index fingers up and your thumbs crossed. So a lot of us use this for like a crescent moon side stretch, a crescent lunge. Um, but again, it could be used in meditation. Um, it could be used in lots of other asanas. You're not just limited to the few that you're familiar with. So we're going to choose our yoga mudra. And just before we get started on our meditation, um, so let's say you choose a yoga mudra, your hands are in prayer position, you're doing rock fingers, um, you know, uh, interlace fingers with your index fingers up. Um, and then your arms get tired in the middle of our meditation, just relax them down. We never want our meditation to be about how uncomfortable we are. Um, a little bit of discomfort, you might be able to breathe through it and just let that pass, but you don't want your whole meditation to be about, oh, I wish I chose something else. Um, so any yoga mudra that you like, and again, it could be as simple as one hand over the other, hands in prayer position, you can touch your thumb and any of your fingers together. Um, to intensify the thumb and fingers together, you bring your thumb on top of the nail. So that's kind of a little variation that people do. Um, I'm going to do, I'm looking for happiness, so I'm going to do interlace fingers with our index fingers up, thumbs crossed, shoulders down and away from our ears. But again, um, at some point I'm probably going to drop my arms. So we're going to come into any comfortable seated pose. Good contact with our sits bones. We want our back nice and straight, but relaxed. Our shoulders are relaxed. A little military tuck to our chin. So here we're gonna start by noticing our sits bones. We wanna find balance, equal pressure on each side. We wanna be center and balanced. You can try moving your upper body forward and back to find a balanced middle with no stress on your back or your abdomen. You are centered, balanced, and have a natural, comfortable posture. We're just gonna settle in here, close your eyes, and begin to take a few soft, full, deep breaths. You can bring your hands to your comfortable yoga mudra. And now allow your body to still and your attention to turn inward. Your shoulders, chest, and stomach relax. Your breath is soft, full, and easy. Try to inhale and exhale through your nose, filling your belly, ribs, chest with air on the inhale, and allowing your chest, ribs, belly to relax and let go on the exhale. Try to keep your breath soft, full, and easy. Notice how each breath follows the last. Allow everything else to move into the background. Focus on your breathing. Breathing in and out. Your breath is the focus of your awareness. Now allow your awareness to rest on the path of your breath. Notice the cool air entering your body on the inhale. Notice the warm breath leaving your body on the exhale. Pause here, following the wave of your breath as you continue to focus on your breathing. Breathing in and out. Breathing in and out. Your mind may wander away from your breath. When you notice your thoughts shifting to things outside of your breath, just take note. Gently refocus your attention on your breath. 
Focus on your breathing, breathing in and out. Breathing in and out. Continue to observe the flow of your breath. When your mind wanders off, gently return it to your breath. Focus on your breathing, breathing in and out. Breathing in and out. Your breath is your anchor to return to your breath when your attention drifts away. Focus on your breathing, breathing in and out. If you find emotions moving into your thoughts, allow yourself to notice your feelings. Just notice. Then once again, focus on your breathing, breathing in and out, breathing in and out. You can become aware of physical sensations like an itch or tingle. Maybe you're starting to become restless in your body. Just simply notice how you're feeling. And again, return your attention to your breath. Try to relax and let go of whatever is capturing your attention. Just bring your attention back to your breath. Focus on your breathing, breathing in and out. Breathing in and out. Now pause here in this moment, fully awake, calm and at peace. Now gently begin to return your attention to your breath. Focus on your breathing, breathing in and out. Begin to bring attention back into your body. You can wiggle your fingers, your toes, you can gently turn your head from side to side. Moving and stretching any way that feels right. And once again, coming fully to the present moment. With your eyes closed or softly gazing. Notice how you're feeling. Now you can find your way to peace and well-being by concentrating on your breath. Being in the present moment, you can bring your hands together in prayer position at heart center. The light and love in me honors the light and love in you. Namaste. Once again, thank you for joining me. I'm Jessie. Um, we do a Monday meditation every week, 7.45 to about 8 o'clock on Second Star of the Right Yoga's Facebook page streaming. Um, I have some bonus yoga classes coming up. I'm teaching tomorrow on... Um, Solstice Yoga Shala's Zoom page. So if you're a member of um, Solstice Yoga, um, join me, 6.15 to 7.30. I'm just filling in. And then I'm also filling in this Sunday, 10.30 to 11.30 um, on Sunday. And that one is streaming for free on Solstice Yoga Shala's Facebook page. Um, you can follow my page for more information. Um, and I'm planning on uploading some photos with some explanations of yoga mudras. Um, so you can check out my Facebook page for that as well. Thanks. Have a great week.